Well, hello, sunshine. Uh, we're gonna have some fun today. We got old Ruth, our old test mule. Time to get it hitched up, put it to work. Uh, it's got a muffler mod, slight muffler mod. I think that video's already been out. I mean, just cheap, quick, dirty, in a hurry muffler mod. Uh, I wanted to do that before I done some cylinder testing, uh, just because I didn't want the muffler being the pinch point. Uh, it's not a great muffler mod. It's just a muffler mod. Uh, so we've got the Farmer Tech cylinder on here as this kit saw came. This is a G366, which is a clone of an MS361 steel. Uh, I was talking to Ryan. I ordered some stuff from him. He graciously sent me a highway cylinder, a meteor cylinder, and a new West Big Bore cylinder to try and give him some feedback. Uh, so we're going to start with the uh, we're going to start with a highway cylinder. Uh, <clears throat> the first thing I notice now I'm usually usually buying the cheapest thing I can buy off Amazon because uh, I'm liable to tear a saw down two or three times per tank of fuel. Uh, be a good time to say I've already tested all three of these cylinders. We're gonna we'll get them all in a. I'm just gonna do one cylinder per video though. Uh, by the time I got done testing these three cylinders, this old cheap roof, I've already had to helicoil the daggum uh, into the case. And this one here, it was going righty tighty for a while, and then it started going righty loosey. Um, <laughs> she stripped her right out. Uh, don't need no anesthesia. So we're going to get this highway cylinder on. We're going to get timing numbers for it for you, and we're going to get it on dyno, and we're going to compare this highway cylinder to the Farmer Tech cylinder that's been on there. Now, the Farmer Tech cylinder's got a tank or two of fuel on it. Uh, so, uh, theoretically, it should be doing a little bit better. Uh, but the first things I noticed <clears throat> whenever I pulled these cylinders out, I'm used to about the cheapest thing you could buy on Amazon. And I'm telling you, the plating, the chamfering, everything else look far superior on this uh the only thing i did notice on this highway especially let's see what would that be the uh pto side it's got a it's got a ridge inside the upper transfers which is going to throw it's almost a casting that comes down i'll, I'll try to throw you up a picture here uh that's going to change our timing numbers by let's say a degree on the upper transfers plus it's gonna be trying to direct that fuel straight back down it's not going to want to shoot up in the combustion chamber as much that ridge is going to uh, tend to want to uh, have that transfer charge coming down on the piston uh, instead of up into the chamber just there on top but uh, a guy could get in there with a ball burr or a 90 if he has one and clean that up and i think that'll make his cylinder work better too um without ever even getting into the chamfer and then the plating it's, it's actually back in the transfer just as no oh, just so much um but guys what what i'm going to do it's already been on there but let's pretend it hadn't so guys what i'm going to do i'm going to get the piston and cylinder on that saw we're going to get it on dyno and we're going to get some dyno results and timing numbers off of this uh, and see where we see where we land well, here's the timing on the highway numbers uh, we also have the original farmer tech and an oem saw that i had the opportunity to get timing numbers off of uh, squish were at 32 thousandths on oem 37 thousandths on farmer tech 32 thousandths on highway uh, the exhaust opening uh, let me back up here a second. This is all measured with 35 thousandths MIG wire, not with first ray of light. So you can take about three degrees off all these, three to four degrees, uh, if you want to go by first ray of light. Uh, I use MIG wire because it's sometimes I can see good and sometimes I can't. Uh, exhaust 104, 105 on Farmer Tech and 104 on the highway. Uh, highways staying pretty close. Uh, Primary transfers, 130 on OEM, 126, and 131 on highway. Uh, secondaries, 133, 128, 132. 
uh, our intake, 71 and a half degrees on OEM, 64 on Farmer Tech. It's pretty short, uh, pretty short intake, and 68 degrees on the highway. Uh, blow down, of course, that, that calculates to 26, 21, and 27. So, so far, the OEM and the highway are running pretty similar. Now, uh, the OEM saw was scored, so I didn't, uh, I didn't, I wasn't able to get, uh, uh, these, these horsepower and static compression readings. Now the farmer tech, uh, we had 4.61 horsepower, which is above what steel advertises as factory. Uh, the highway's right in there with what steel advertises as factory. It's a little lower horsepower. Um, 3.18 foot pounds of torque versus 3.09 foot pounds of torque. So we lost on the uh, torque and on the, and I'll get you a dyno chart and you can see it all here in a minute, but we lost, uh, we lost there, but look, we have 40 PSI down on compression. And why is that? I put a couple asterisks, asterisks here. Easy for you to say, uh, this farmer tech cylinder probably has five to 10 tanks of fuel through it. And it's got the softer, those black cast rings that are about as soft as cottage cheese. And I expect the cylinder plate in the same way. Uh, anyhow, I'm, what, what I think is this Farmer Tech is uh, probably seated in a little bit better than this highway. Um, even after just a tank of idling, I, I think this highway is really going to come up, which is going to break bring them up too. Uh, piston overall length. Now that's going to start mattering if uh, you want to start maybe putting this piston in this saw and changing your squish a little bit, right? The piston overall length, uh, the highway is 11 thousandths longer. And you think, well, what's that matter? Well, it might or it might not. Uh, from the piston pin to the top of the cylinder is 0 0.704 and 700 thousandths on the highway. So that, that right there... If you had too tight a squish, you could put a highway cylinder in, say, you could lose 4,000 squish by going with a highway cylinder if you need that. Uh, it's, an it's, a, it's an opportunity you can do. Piston, pin, uh, rings, and uh, circlips, uh, they weighed within, oh, what is that, a little over a quarter of a gram, 8705 on the Farmer Tech. 86.78 grams on uh, highway. The piston pin weight, uh, the Farmer Tech was pretty heavy, 15.65, uh, 14.45 on the highway. So that would actually, if you take a gram off of this, it'd actually tell you that the highway piston's half a gram heavier or whatever it is than the Farmer Tech. Um, but there's the timing numbers on it. Well, the timing numbers don't look too bad, do they? Uh, I think there's a lot we can do with this. That's, this piston itself has potential. And I've actually used this piston, uh, the Highway 361 piston. I've actually used that in another uh, another video on a repair on a guy. I put it in an OEM cylinder and did some piston lightning to it. And that video's back there a oh, couple weeks too. Uh, got some substantial gains. I like the piston. I like the cylinder. I love the coating. Uh, I've not tried porting it yet. Um, th these previously had a reputation for chipping and flaking real bad. So it's a good cylinder to just put on. Uh, and then I've also heard the rumor that it's... it's they're not they're not as chippy as they used to be so time will tell on that we'll get into it but right now we just we just need to get some base runs don't we uh speaking of base runs let's do the dyno roof highway cylinder stock Okay, well, we got the highway cylinder on the dyno, and I was a little disappointed, but I, 
I think, uh, like I say, I think with some more break in, this will really come up because uh, we're down on static compression, way lower than what, uh, way lower than what that Farmer Tech is with the same squish and things like that, or similar squish. So, uh, better rings and better plating, harder. I think it's going to take a little bit longer to seed in, and. Uh, yeah, so that's that's enough excuse making. Uh, the highway cylinder is the blue line, and the Farmer Tech with the multiple tanks of fuel through it and a muffler mod, both muffler modded. Uh, we got four point six one horsepower on the Farmer Tech, four point three four on the Meteor. So we're uh, we're quarter horse less. Uh, 3.18 foot-pounds of torque, get off air fly, and 3.09 foot-pounds of torque on uh, highway cylinder, so about a tenth of a foot-pound less of torque. Um, I'm not surprised, but I'm not disappointed. That that uh, that highway cylinder's going to gonna come on. I'm, I'm satisfied of it. Well, guys, if you enjoy this kind of thing, give me the old uh, hitchhiker. I guess if you don't, either click out or give me the old Julius Caesar. Um, I shouldn't tell you guys what, you know how to run YouTube, don't you? Um, you know what helps my channel and what don't. Uh, if you want to see my channel, get helped out, do some of that stuff. Like I say, the uh, Ryan sent me this and two more. So I almost feel beholden to him, right? But I feel beholden to you guys and actually self-honesty. This cylinder did not do as well right out of the box as a Farmer Tech cylinder. <clears throat> I think there's some reasons. I think break-in is going to be a huge one. Uh, like I say, the compression just way down there. Uh, that thing breaks in and gets up there uh, where the other cylinders are at. Uh, I think we'll be in good shape. But um, I'm not making excuses. Uh, if you order from Ryan, uh, I'd appreciate a good word. If, if you like what I'm doing and you order from Ryan, uh, give him s some consideration. I uh, appreciate it. He's helping us out big time, and we're having fun. He's helping us. He's helping every one of us out, um, and he's helping himself out too. He's getting some feedback too that actually he said he'll pass along the highway. Uh, so and the dyno results. So uh, we're all we're all winners on this one, ain't we? Guys, gonna be a short one. Appreciate it. Come back and see me. We'll have the big bore and the meteor. We'll have the new West big bore and the meteor coming up after this video. <clears throat> Uh, or if you're watching it later, they'll probably they'll all be in a playlist under uh, this old saw here. So, guys, appreciate it.